has been absolutely forever and I miss you. I'm going to do a video today because today is the first day Andrew's at his new job and that actually means it's the first day I have the house to myself. The new house. The new house that I'm so excited to finally be in. I get my own beauty room which is absolutely gorgeous. Do you see how adorable that is? Oh my god, it's adorable. I love the walls. Ugh. Also the purple electrical sockets. A little weird, but I think it's cute. Unfortunately, the uh, electrical sockets in my bedroom don't work. So we have to run a really ugly orange extension cord from my beauty room to my bedroom. But as you can see, I'm not unpacked yet. I'm Everything in the house is unpacked. I'm not unpacked. My clothes are still in storage and all of my like beauty stuff pretty much. I have like my makeup bag out of my like everyday makeup and my bag of lipsticks. Like I sew a lot and so I sewed myself this little bag a while ago and I keep the majority of my everyday lipstick in here so that I have a wide variety at all times because lipstick's very personal, you know? It's not only personal but it's always like, it's like, it makes the outfit. It makes it go from like a blah day to like an amazing day. So like, what is this one? Cherry picking, one of my favorite ones, have to have this out. Which is only actually a few shades different from <sighs> Dumpling Pink. But they're totally different. I have to keep both of them out. I couldn't possibly pack these. So anyways. Hello, and I miss you so much. I'm so glad to be back. So I wanted to do my empties because I actually packed these and moved with them. Though I do have to admit some of them didn't make it. I definitely am sitting here looking for things and they're not here. And so either they're still in a packed box or I actually threw them away. And I might have thrown them away. There's a couple things in particular I'm remembering I think I actually threw away which is so sad because I brought all of these here, like a four hour drive away. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna try to organize these and then let's get into it. So the first entry I want to talk about is this. I have 45, 50 of these ginormous bags right now, strewn across the house, full and empty. If you go to the Dollar Tree, they have two and a half gallon bags. If you're moving, if you're going to college, if you're, I don't care what, just go to the Dollar Tree and go buy some of these before they are out. They come in like seven packs, I think I bought three of them. Oh my god. Saved my fucking ass moving. Like seriously, everything. Shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, spices, olive oil. Oh my god, so many things blew up in the move. And they were all contained. So shout out to Ziploc, even though this isn't technically a Ziploc, it's some knockoff brand. Shout out to whoever the fuck designed Ziploc. Like the Ziploc creator, I don't know your name, but I love you. So, anyways, quick shout out, go buy these, they're amazing if you're moving, but seriously, if you're moving, traveling, or if you live in a dorm and you're going back and forth between college and home, save your life. First empty is shampoo and conditioner. I hated these. These were not good. I actually don't know why I finished them. You know how sometimes you're like, oh man, I needed to finish that, and you're like, get to the end of the bottle, and you're like, oh my god, that took months, and I hated it. I bought these when I first dyed my hair red. I'll link how to dye your hair at home. That's when I bought these. Oh my god, they suck. They suck. Not only did they not preserve my hair color, they didn't really clean and they didn't really condition. I wound up buying these guys like the same week because they sucked so much, but I continued to use them for some stupid reason. Girls, let me just, and boys, let me just share a secret with you that I think you need to learn early in life, not when you're 24. No one cares if you finish a bottle or if you throw it away. If it's that bad, don't bother using the whole bottle. 
These seriously sucked. These did nothing for my hair. And so for the last six months, my hair has just looked like crap. Don't put yourself through things for like $10 worth of product or $20 or $50 or $100 worth of product. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Pass it on to somebody else who might. Then I have the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Total Care Nourishing Daily Shampoo and Conditioner. And the reason I bought these is because it was the Allure, 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 the Allure Beauty 2012 award winner. And I trust them. <laughs> and these were amazing. But I did find that it didn't help keep my hair dyed, like keep the color in, so I think I'm going to try to see if they have a color version and get that next. Don't mind the fact that this doesn't have a lid anymore, a pump. Um, Zora ate it. I love Jurgen's original scent, their cherry almond. It reminds me of my childhood. My sister has used this my whole life long. It's amazing. So I went through an entire bottle of this. And I was like to like there when Zora chewed off the pump. And then she decided to go on a pump chewing spree, so I don't have the bottles. I don't know what happened to them. I probably just threw them away in frustration. But I went through two um, generic brand Aveeno daily moisturizing lotions as well. Two entire bottles of that and this in the last three months or whatever it's been. Four months since I've done my last empties. But this one's my favorite. I love this. It's not greasy. It soaks in quickly and it smells good. If you're not sensitive to smell, use this. If you're sensitive to smell, use the Aveeno. Then I have um, a shower cream by The Body Shop. This is the Shea Shower Cream. My aunt gave this to me uh, for Christmas last year. It took me a long time to use it, partly because it's an expensive product and because I like to like treat myself, and partly because... <sighs> partly because it wasn't my favorite. It smells okay. I think it's just this scent that kind of smells a little bit chemically, which is kind of weird because it's a natural... Well, not completely natural, but it's a more natural product. But it took me a long time to use it. I really liked it. It was very moisturizing. The smell was a little, smell was a little bit off, but it was good. And it took me a long time to use it because it was expensive. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Aunt Sharon and Lisa and the entire family. I feel like I have another shower gel that I used up, but I can't remember what it was. And it's not here. Like, I can guarantee I used up another body wash. Oh, you know what it was? It was my Dove body wash. I don't remember what flavor. Peach and something, maybe? Then I used up a bottle of the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. Um, I love this stuff, but that's the only problem. This breaks. Like, every, like, third bottle I have of this, this thing breaks off. So that's annoying, but you just stick it back on there, and it works just fine. I love this. It doesn't burn my skin. Then I used up my Up and Up Facial Scrub, which is the generic version of St. Ives. If you watch my How to Shave video, link below, um, you've seen this before. I use this before I shave my legs. I exfoliate, then I shave, and then I exfoliate again afterwards with a, just a loofah. Um, so yeah, used up this. Speaking of, I used up two more of my natural loofahs from Walmart. They're $1.97, and they're amazing! I have another body shop thing. This one was technically given to my boyfriend's sister, and she didn't like the lotion because it had a little bit of sparkle in it. Oh, it's heavenly. Oh, I love it. It's one of their Christmas ones. It's the Ginger Sparkle Body Butter, and oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. I literally scraped every bit out. I wonder if I can get a little bit more out, actually. Mm, barely. It smells so good, though. This is one that I will actually be purchasing for myself this Christmas as soon as they come out with this. I love this smell. Um, I love their body butters and they're amazing and if you haven't tried this one, you should at least go smell it when it comes out. Let's just keep with the shower theme. Then I have two more of the Dollar Shave Club razors. This little packaging says, I like shaving with a doll razor, says no one ever. And this one says, such a handsome face, keep it that way. Sometimes those little things are hilarious, sometimes they're boring. But, get four razors in a pack, delivered to your door every month. If you link your link to other people, 
um, kind of like an affiliate type of rewards program, you get free razors. So, like, my dad signed up, and so I got like five dollars towards my next box, so my next month was free. Um, almost free, I think I paid a dollar twenty-four that month. If you like, Dollar Race Club, Dollar Shave Club, I'll link it below you guys, just go check it out. Um, they look like that. They're nice, and I like them. I, my boyfriend likes them too, if that matters to you, but I, we've used up two months worth. There's a third one empty somewhere, but I think it might have got thrown away. Last kind of hair thing before I get into makeup is this hairspray by John Frieda. It's the Frizzies Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. Uh, looks like this. Don't like it. I don't know. Too firm, too sticky. Um, there's still like half the bottle left, but I'm not going to use it. I might just keep this around to like throw in my purse, but I don't think I will because similar to the shampoo and conditioner, the red bottles, I don't like this. So why would I continue to force myself to use it? This is my second or third bottle because I liked it and then I liked it and then I slowly don't like it anymore. Um, I think it's because I moved to a much drier climate that I don't need a moisture barrier, barrier anymore. So could be part of it. Don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I used to like it, now I don't, and I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, makeup. I don't have all that much makeup, but I've got two mascaras, two concealers, and a foundation. Foundation is Revlon Colorstay 24-hour combination oily skin in 180 sand beige. There's a tiny bit left in here, but it's kind of gone off. This one is much thicker than the normal skin one, so it's very easy to make it look cakey, and it took me a long time to figure out how to use this. I use this with a damp brush or a damp beauty blender. If you use this with a dry brush or with your fingers, it's just going to look cakey. So you have to be really careful, but it's amazing and staying power is awesome. Then I have the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in Fair and use this one all up. I used this one kind of a little bit like a foundation for the summer months when it was just super hot and I couldn't wear a full face without it just melting off. Um, I love it. It's super, super pigmented. The one thing I did notice is that, at least on my kind of oily skin, it started to slide off in the heat, so set it with a powder. Then I have my absolute favorite concealer of the moment, which is the NYC... Oh god, the... <laughs> there is no writing left on this. If I didn't know it, it was the NYC concealer, I wouldn't know what this is. And I have no idea what color it's in, and I have no idea what it's technically called. It looks like this. It's got a wand. Tati from Grand Wife Drew said it had a whipped, like, consistency, so I ran out and I bought it. I think this one's in medium, but it's amazing. It's kind of like this one where I used it more of like an, as an all-over um, foundation or like where I needed some coverage, like freckles underneath my eyes and blemishes. Lifesaver though. Love this. Gonna buy it again. Gonna try to buy the whole range so I can figure out what color I actually like like best. Then I have two mascaras. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Waterproof Mascara. Brush looks like this. And I don't have many good things to say about this anymore. I was obsessed with this. I've gone through like seven tubes in the last couple years and I've been totally obsessed. And I don't know if this is just a bad tube. I think it's just a bad tube. But I don't find this particular tube did not work like everything else. This used to give me big, full, thick, waterproof lashes, and this time around, it's like there's no product in the tube. It's like I got an empty, dry tube. It doesn't like to go on nicely, and it pretty much just gives you like a very natural, fanned out lash, which is pretty, but not what I go for on a daily basis, so yeah. Used it all up, but... I think I'll give it one more try, and if I get a bad tube again, I think I'm just going to say that they changed their formula. Wet n Wild, if you're listening, did you change your formula, or did I get a bad tube? I love this stuff. Tell me. Last but not least is my Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara by Jen Jordana. Brush is very similar to the Wet n Wild one, but the formula is a thousand times different. It is big, bold, beautiful, long lashes. 
you do have to be careful if it's raining or if you're a crier or if you have watery eyes, etc, etc. This is not waterproof and it bleeds like crazy if you get wet, so be careful. But all time, holy grail, favorite mascara ever. Big, bold, long, full, black lashes. I love this so much. I've gone through like 15 tubes in my life and I'm just going to continue to buy it for the rest of my life pretty much. So yeah, love this. You should try it. It's like $2.99, $3.99. You can find it at Walgreens, Cherry Culture, uh, Beauty Joint. Um, you can't find this at Food Max, interestingly enough. They carry a lot of Jordana at Food Max, but they have never carried this mascara, which I think is weird. Don't ask me how I know that. I just know that. Anyways, love you guys, and I will talk to you very soon. I'm so glad to be back. Oh my god, Zora's broken leg is almost healed. I'm going to post a video either before or after this about where I've been and why I took a break from YouTube. So I'll link that below regardless, and I love you very much. Bye.